This is a second hand sound for the bootloader. So on top of the simple one, we will add some protections. In this hands on, we're going to reuse the same application from the previous one. There's no need to make any change. But for the bootloader, we're going to enhance it by adding some protections. That includes the right protection of bootloader flash pages. And we are going to define a secure user memory area to protect the whole bootloader. And then in the bootloader code, before jumping to the application, we will activate the protection of secure user memory area. Then when the application is running, we can run some tests from the application trying to access the address within the secure user memory area and see what's the effect. In terms of uh, hardware boards and the software tools to be required, that's exactly the same as the previous one. So I assume you have everything in hand. Regarding the zip file of the project to be used for this and so on, so still the same one for application. If you have that viewed from the previous hands on, you just keep using the same, no need to change anything. And for the bootloader, we're going to use this one, g 0 prop.zip. So this is a project of the bootloader with protections. Ready? Let's go. Now we start the second hands on for the bootloader. Uh, we will keep using the same application as the first one. There's no need to change anything on the application. Um, but we will make a little bit improvement of the uh, bootloader. We're going to add some protections to the bootloader. The first thing is to have the uh, secure the memory to be used to protect the bootloader. And the project that we're going to use is this one. So G0 underscore BL prompt. So still, you can use the ID that you wish to have. So if we can take a look at uh, the source code. So in main.c, um, we will keep using the same function, but there will be a different implementation. This time, um, you can see that we're using a different jumper.c file. It's not anymore jumper.c, it's jumper underscore prod.c. So the implementation uh, it becomes this piece of code. Um, this time we're not jumping to the application directly. Instead, the code will call to a function resides in the system bootloader. This is the address of the function in the system bootloader. And uh, that function is going to check the magic number. You need to give the right magic number. And uh, eventually, at the end, that function will also jump to the application address. But before that, it will activate the protection of the secure as a memory. So right to the uh, secure protection bit in the flash control register. So. This is how this jumper will have the protection activated. And then in the C file, we have also added one more uh, function call to activate the WRP. Uh, at this moment, I, I keep it uh, uh, disabled for a moment. We will activate it at the end. So it's a similar uh, idea. We will activate the right protection in the code to the flash pages um, that is reserved for the bootloader. Actually, this could be done in the software. It can also be done in the programmer. So there's nothing special. We have already experienced the same thing for the hash page uh, protection in the other hands-on that we have the uh, hash value on the flash. OK, so now we can build a project. And then in the programmer, connect to the board. So first, take a look at the option byte. Make sure that you don't have any uh, right protection, no PC ROP, RDP is in level 0. And then we can set this um, secure user memory size to 1.0. That means 16 pages 
which is the um, um, the size reserved for the bootloader. Okay, set that, and uh, the flash is empty. We download the program. The bootloader, this is the bootloader binary just built, so download it to the base address of user flash. And then we download the application, same binary, download it to 8200. Okay, disconnect. So the application is running. Then we can try this test by typing 1. So this test is actually trying to access some memory address within the secure user memory area. So first one is the base address of user flash, and the other one is uh, another address, so within this A000 area. You can see that this will generate a hot fault. So this is the way that we can protect the bootloader from being accessed, either being read or write, or any access from the application. So once bootloader jumps to application, application has no more access to the flash area that bootloader was using. That area will be available again only after a reset. So the next time the bootloader is running, then those area will be available again. Then let's connect to the board again and the modified option byte to set this area to zero, back to zero. And we will see what's the effect. Okay, disconnect. So let's reset the board. Clear the screen. Okay. Reset the board. So we can still run the same test from application, try to access the same two memory addresses within supposed to be the secure I mean the the, the uh, flash area where this bootloader is supposed to be using okay so this time there's no more hot fault we can read the content from those addresses that is because we don't define any size for the secure memory so this protection even though uh, the software write to the register to activate the protection but somehow the protected area is zero the size is zero so there's no nothing protected at all actually so now you can see how it works um then for the right protection i'm not going to uh to do it you you can try it yourself um in the code you can uncomment this line and then the right protection will be activated in the code by default okay Let's have a recap. So in this bootloader with protection hands-on, we have seen what kind of protections could be applied to ensure the immutability of the bootloader code, how to use secure as a memory on G0 to protect the bootloader area on flash, and what is the effect when protection of secure as a memory is activated in the bootloader before application is launched.